common people assume that the honey is produced from the pollen, which is wrong. Pollen is a part of their food. Bees suck the nectar from the flowers and store in a honey sac in their body. There it mixes with some enzymes which converts the sucrose into fructose and glucose. Again the bees take the nectar out and collect it in the compartments of the comb. The moisture is reduced and the sacs are sealed. This keeps good for a long time. Hence there is no direct relationship between the pollen and the honey. Honey, wax, venom and royal jelly are the benefits of beekeeping. Empty combs are melted and cleaned by sieving. This is the bee wax useful for wood polish, candles, face creams and many more industrial preparations. Wax sheet used in beekeeping is also a product of this natural bee wax. A small quantity of royal jelly is stored in these queen cells for its nourishment. This is a costly medicinal item. The bee venom is also a useful medicine for joint pains etc. But in our country, collection of royal jelly and venom are not in practice. Honey is a nutritious natural food and a medicine also. It has no fixed color, flavor and taste. These properties depend on the flora available. Adulteration of honey is easy and more frequent. There is no simple test to find out adulteration. Heating the honey on paper, putting a drop in water, etc. are not meaningful. The lab test only can judge the purity of honey. Based on the lab test report, the Agriculture Produce Certifying Agency, Agmark, gives grades. According to this, the special grade is the best honey. A grade is the better one and standard grade is good honey. The quality standards of the standard grade honey are like this. Moisture content less than 25% sucrose less than 5%, fructose to glucose ratio more than 0.95, at 27 degree centigrade minimum density 1.35, total reducing sugar minimum 65%, acidity maximum 0.2, and negative results in aniline and Fisher tests. These tests are possible only in labs. Hence, the better way for consumers is to go for processed and packed Agmark honey. Pollination is the major contribution of honeybees. Researchers have recorded 30% increase in food grain production and even up to 80% increase in the horticultural crops. Honeybee pollination improves the quality of the produce also. Oil seed crops like mustard, safflower, sesame, sunflower, dicots like red gram, black gram, green gram, cowpea, etc. Vegetables like cucumbers, onion, fruit crops like orange, apple, pomegranate, guava, mango, etc. Commercial crops like coconut, arcanut, cotton, coffee, tobacco etc. are benefited by the honeybees. In turn, these crops are the sources of pollen and nectar for the bees. Tree species like eucalyptus, rubber, etc. are the good sources of nectar. In the western countries, farmers hire the bee colonies from beekeepers for pollination. In India also, the apple growers of Himachal Pradesh have started this practice. Sunflower farmers of North Karnataka are facilitating beekeepers by avoiding chemical sprays for the crop. This shows the importance of bee pollination and encourages beekeeping.